Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What's going on YouTube? It's Filthy and we're back with another video. Uh, very pleased to say that today we've been sponsored by Torchlight Infinite to have a go of the closed beta, uh, which launched yesterday, I think. We're going to play through the game, we're going to give it a couple of hours, uh, see, see where we get to, see whether we enjoy the initial stages. Uh, I've never played a Torchlight game before, so this is like completely brand new. I had a little play of the actual game itself for about 20 minutes just to set up the controls and stuff. Um, but this is going to be a, a fresh, brand new player kind of playthrough. Um, obviously, I've played an awful lot of Diablo 3 in the past. Uh, I've played some Diablo 2 Resurrected. We've done some Last Epoch. Uh, I've done some just general ARPG, so it's a genre that I love, uh, something that I'm you know quite passionate about. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go through it and we're gonna play through. And we're gonna see where we get to. Uh, I've got another couple of sponsor pieces of content coming up for the game, so I'm gonna play it for a bit uh, and then make a, a video or two uh, on it just to see where it goes. Now, obviously, at the moment. Diablo 3 season has seems to have tailed off a little bit. So, you know, perfect time, I think, to try something new uh, and jump in. So, this is the character select screen. We can choose Berserker Rayhon, uh, Rayon, which looks kind of like a barb. I like this big weapon. This is pretty chunky and cool. Uh, looks pretty good. He looks pretty rough. We've got Divine Shot Carino, Range of Glory. I do like the idea of dual pistols, uh, but I think we're going to go with the barb. Uh, we've also got Frostfire Gemma, so this is like Ice and Fire, I'm guessing like kind of like a mage type character. Uh, this guy seems nuts, don't know what he does, magic and space-time illusion, so I guess kind of like mage, wizard, sorceress, something like that. Uh, and then we've got the dwarf, which is kind of like, I guess, the summoner, because I think he builds stuff. We're going to go, we're going to keep it nice and simple, we're going to go with the barb, we're going to smash some stuff uh, in the face, uh, and we're going to go for it, so... Uh, his hero trait, uh, very similar to Diablo 3, is that you've got a rage meter uh, that uh, builds up as you go and it unlocks extra damage. So we'll just call him Filthy. Uh, and yeah, so this looks like an awful lot of fun. Graphically, it's really nice, it's really clean, really smooth. Obviously, this is a game that you can play on Android, mobile, uh, but then, well, obviously, we're playing it on Steam. So let's have a look at the intro. Split into four and was scattered. With the radiance of the first flame gone, the amber appeared. We have to save the world, I'm guessing. Across the continent and devoured anything in its path. Then he corrupted the minds of man, leading them into endless wars. The uh, visuals are very nice. It reminds me a little bit of Hades if you ever played that similar kind of art style. was ignited. These lunatics who possessed the power of Ember fought against fate and declared war against the boundless darkness, even if they are doomed, doomed to suffer endless nightmares. Nice. So I think this is a little bit like. I guess, I don't know, level one tutorial. Uh, click mouse button to move. Okay, easy. Uh, so at the moment we've got a flame slash attack and we've also got a compound potion, which I think gives us a bit of more damage. So we need right click to smack stuff uh, and then interact with this. And we now get a support skill. Uh, the skills seem quite interesting, so this is the main skill, and then we can add on support stuff, and click install. So this is our main attack, and it now has increased area. And as you level them up, you unlock more nodes, you obviously unlock more skills as you go, uh, which seems like a quite a nice way of, of building up power in your character as you go. But yeah, very, very nice, very smooth, very, very crisp, very polished. I'm just gonna whack these dudes in the head. But yeah, if you're a fan of oversized, oversized weapons, 
Uh, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. This is the little rage meter here that goes up. Uh, and I think when it gets to uh, max level, it then depletes. But we get to do a lot more damage whilst we're on fire. Uh, and as our life goes down, we can press Q, get ourselves a potion. Uh, and I think it actually does cause us to do a bit more damage as well, maybe. Uh, Minimap in the top left, as per standard. And I hope I don't die, that'd be really embarrassing. But as you can see at the bottom, we're going to unlock some more skills as we go. Uh, I can see where these dudes are attacking. We'll just slap them with our massive sword. Slap, slap, slap. Alright, and up here. Even in the darkness, we never forgot the light. The game's the game does a uh, good job, I think, of just sort of easing you in uh, to how to do stuff. Nice and friendly, nice and beginner friendly, nice and casual friendly, which is what we like. Here we go, mini boss time. A lot of care gone into designing this, like cool looking demon thing. Doc Doctopus style tentacles. It's an ugly looking bitch. Too tired. Come on, man. So I think, right, we've got mana, so we refresh the mana with the potion as well. I'm too tired. Right, so when he says I'm too tired, we're out of juice. We're out of mana. We need to pop the potion. I have no idea who this chick is. I found you at last. Neither does the game. Well, no woman. She looks friendly, though. I'll save you. Nice. War cries are way more important. Uh, interact button. So I think we can click or press press space. Of course we are. Aria, what happened? Within you had an outburst, and Emberons attacked the hideout while you were unconscious. Oh dear, this is sounding like my fault. We need to go to the hideout and aid them right now. Uh, come on, I'll show you. Let's show those monsters who's boss. Uh, right, so similar to Dabloo Immortal, we can click here and we get a little uh, breadcrumb Hansel and Gretel, Gretel style trail to follow, uh, which is great for a casual game because getting lost is definitely a cardinal sin. Uh, right, so we select a talent panel, so we're going to go for God of Might because that's what it's telling us to do. Main stats, strength, attack and fire. So all these things, I think they're like a bit of a passive tree. Uh, and this is very similar, if you've ever played Last Epoch, this is very similar to the passive system there. Uh, we're going to unlock talent points, and then we can choose where they go. So we can put them into 12% attack damage, 5% max life, 12% fire damage. And as you level them along here, uh, you get to unlock further nodes to do so. I think we'll just go for, go for damage, that's what we'll do. Uh, and I think it looks like we can have three of these trees active. Uh, so, 
pretty nice. I do like the flexibility and the just addition to the characters, like the ability to have different trees and stuff. Uh, we just picked up an item, so we can go into our lovely knapsack, uh, and then this will basically automatically put it on again. Kind of like Diablo 3, very similar. Uh, we, we've got two stats, damage and survival. Big green number, 33% damage. So on it goes. Uh, we can dual wield, but I think, is this a two-handed axe? Yeah, two-handed axe. Uh, and if it was one-handed, you would be able to uh, dual wield, which would be pretty good. But look at the size of that. That's what she said. The Emberons caused the Ember here to spread again. So we picked up a robe. Uh, when we get a chance to stop, we will try and get that on. Nice Cerberus dog there, three heads. Very cool. is critical. Please help other squads clear out the Amberons in the hideout. Once that's done, go to the core and protect the spark device. The spark is the hideout's core, so it must not be harmed. Right, go protect something. Uh, I like as well when you tab, it'll basically tell you the uh, info some monster level area. It's two, and then there's 26 buddies. Got to go find. Uh, or we could go find. So that's always nice. I'm, I'm a bit of a nerd. I do like my stats in video games. So if there's any more stats, that'll be that'll be cool. All right. So that's is that the thing we're protecting? The spark. Haha! <laughs> I'm here. And uh, Senor Berserker just slaps him right in the face. <sighs> this guy knows Kung Fu. A bunch of losers. Losers. Let's say about that, buddy. Alright, if we don't stand in his attacks, I reckon that's going to be a winning strategy. Jito's chosen lean. Just keep mashing potion. Not standing that. Jobs are good. I won't have a go at that sword. That looks fun. You understand. Well, we tried our best, but they've taken it. Uh, right, what have we got up here? So this is leveling up skills. So increased area is like one of those sub nodes that we put on. So we've leveled that up. Uh, and we've also got a new talent. Sometimes the game will want you to actually talk to the next person before it'll let you do that kind of stuff. Of your body is getting worse. Stop pushing yourself. Don't worry about me. We must get the spark. Back. That is a massive sword. We'll do it. Live. Just stay and rest up here. We'll get the spark back. You betcha. Yes. I'll be counting on you. You Move betcha. We're gonna get it back. Uh, right. So we've got an active skill. So uh, it's gonna want us to do this. So our next active skill, we're going to go Leap Attack. Uh, and this is a lot of fun, this one. Look at this. Feels really meaty. You can really feel the thud with that. Uh, so we're going to level up these things. Flame Slash, Compound Potion, uh, which are these two things here. And we've got another Talent Node. So we can either put another 12% into attack damage beef up our life a little bit we'll go for 12 percent more fire damage uh i'm gonna say we're gonna go here i think we'll we'll stick with the top row uh, we've got some goodies to look through 
Uh, so, herbless robe, bit more survival. We'll take it. And uh, these are all the equipment slots of rings, boots, belts. Don't know all that in the first chest plate, maybe. Uh, helmet and gloves. So we'll stick that on. Get the brute's helm on. 2% erosion resistance, 4% lightning resistance. A decent amount of stats. Um, oh, cat, come on. Cat is trying to interrupt our recording. How rude. 9% bleed damage. Uh, there's a chance to trigger an ailment on hit. Dealing physical damage per second for 4 seconds based on base bleed damage. Unable to stack plus 30% reaping time when reaping bleed damage. We'll just stick it on. Uh, is it two-handed? It's two-handed. About this one. Plus 9% melee damage, but it's worse. Uh, I think we'll just destroy this stuff. I have no idea if that was the right thing to do or not, but it's what we've done, so we're going to live with it. Character stat sheets here. So we've got some resistances, erosion, uh, lightning, cold, and fire. So that's something to work on. Let's have a real vulgar challenge. This is still flashing. Yeah, quite extensive help menus. We're not going to go through those now because we want to smash stuff. Not read menus. But yeah, very, very user-friendly experience, I'd say, so far. These corpses. They sacrificed themselves to stop Lean and the Agitos. Oh, I smell some vengeance coming. Huge axe, look at the size of it. Decent amount of weight when you hit stuff, uh, which is nice. Makes it feel like you're kind of connecting with things, which is good. I'm sure we're going to get to kick that guy's ass at some point. I think we have to do these first few missions and then we unlock the main hub area a uh, little bit. Again, that looks like it unlocks kind of slowly over time to get you into the game uh, rather than just dumping everything on you at once. And that looks cool. Some of the Cerberus things. Yeah. Keep fighting from victory to victory. This is the true nature of the world. And the spark is merely a seed of lies. Conceals the truth. My hunter, please behold my light for you. Shame. Took up, took a few with her though. Death having fun with this axe. One blasting pretty much everything. Mini boss time again. Wrist blade agito. The leap is fun. You have anger management issues. Jump on him like Mario. Right, now we're being shelled. I think there's a dragon cannon or some something is firing at us, uh, which makes doing stuff a little bit more difficult. 
Uh, but we can pause now and get in a little bit more attack damage percent. Ancient battleground now. Once said that this is an omen of something ominous. It doesn't matter what the Agitos are planning. We must stop it. Get out of the way, partner. You just won't give up. But only destruction awaits at the end. The cannon fire came from deep within the <sighs> We're getting we're getting some smack talk off this guy. These goblins. They were killed by the Agitos before they could even escape. Makes me wanna hit him even more. Seventy-one bodies. Maybe we can save some goblin survivors if we go in the direction they came from. Yeah. Up the mountain we go. I hear fighting ahead, partner. Let's go over there. Uh, level five. It looks really cool. It looks so. It does look really nice. The uh, the little level up thing. Somebody hiding in a barrel, we've seen that before. Let's have a chat to this dude. You're such good people. Wait a minute. What were you doing in this barrel? What was a dwarf like you doing in this village destroyed by the Agitos? I'm a traveler. I'm from the underground Dwarven Kingdom. I wouldn't be breathing now if my quick wit didn't lead me to hide in this barrel when the Agitos attacked. We, Torchlight, have set up camp back there, and we've almost cleared out all the monsters on the way. Maybe you can take shelter there. No, a absolutely not. I, I, I dare not travel on my own again. I I'm going wherever all of you are going. Are you sure? We're going after the leader of the Agitos. It's a very dangerous path ahead. I don't want to be alone no matter what. You don't know the terror I experience in the darkness of that barrel, all by myself. I'm going with you. So, uh, we have got ourselves a companion. Bring Cory and continue to track down Lean. Uh, leap attacks leveled up. We've got an extra skill slot. Uh, which we are going to use... Uh, what are we going to use? Uh, so I think I fancy a war cry. So we've got all these different skills that we can use here. Totems. It, it seems as though almost... I don't know if the classes are linked to the skills, but I mean, look how many there are. We've got about, f I don't know, 100 skills? Maybe more? Four, row, four to each row? And there's a good 20, 25 rows. So there's a lot of skills, so that's quite cool. That's, you know, you're not going to get bored with that many skills. Uh, I think we're going to go Resurrection Warcry. That's our Warcry to weaken nearby enemies. Reduces additional damage taken based on the number of enemies affected. Uh, and it restores life. So I think we'll go for this. Uh, resurrection. Oh, we already had it. We need to click install. Uh... So I don't think we've got anything to add yet to the skills. <laughs> Once this battle's over, I'm heading back to have a good drink. My man, he's going for a drink. It's definitely a pilsner. Uh, right, have, can we do this one yet? We can. Attack damage. Uh, so we've got stuff like attack speed. We've got stuff like uh, increased max of life and life regen. We've got cast speed, I don't think we'll need cast speed on our character, maybe we do, who knows uh, and then some extra fire damage, so I guess it's like last epoch, we have to link anything, so if we want to do this 8% life and 0.8% life per second, we're going to have to put a point into the minor talent uh, medium talent and then again we get minor and uh, linked ones, ooh, I tell you what we should be doing this one, attack speed, because this looks like move speed. No, oh, no, attack speed again. Cast speed. Uh, goes all the way up to the level 18. You can reset this, I think, uh, for free. Up until a certain level, which is cool. So, up the mountain we go. Uh, 
And we've got this on a 8 second cooldown. A war cry. They blew up the bridge. But repairing a wooden bridge is nothing for a qualified. Ah, where did these monsters come from? Me, Don't worry, we'll get rid of them. Look at this. <laughs> that is a lot of fun. Tempted to just do this. Nice one. Let's go. Doesn't seem to be a downside to doing this. Just perma leap attack. <laughs> oh, this shouldn't be amusing me this much, but it is. Level six, let's go. Uh, right. New talent node available. Uh, what did we say? We said quite fancied uh, attack speed. I think we could just pick that one actually. So can we undo? Can we just undo. Uh, new oblivion point cost before level eighty. So we can just undo that and go on this one. Coolio. Continue to pursue the agitators through the wooden bridge. That's a big fat bat thing. All right, let's do the war cry. Can we Super Mario stomp this guy? You bet we can. You bet we can. Get wrecked. Are you really sure? The anti-dragon bulwark is up ahead. Do you know what that means? No. Of course. Our companions are waiting to be rescued. Did you see that shot? Only the main cannon of the anti-dragon bulwark can fire something so terrifying. That's exactly why we must stop them. Ignore him, partner. Let's go. Uh, wait for me. This dwarf seems a bit like a chicken shit. Uh, and I love this in games. I absolutely love getting to pick variable rewards for doing quests. Uh, you, I think you get this in the last epoch sometimes, but you can, we can basically pick one of these different gems. So emergency restoration. Uh, so I, I think it just gives us a bit more life. So these are all support gems, so I think we'll go for it. Go for the f first one. And then I think we can install it, I hope. No, but we can level up Flame Slash. Ah, here we go. It goes on the potion, doesn't it? Of course. Uh, so we get. So if we're under 35% health, we're getting a 20% boost to the potion. Sounds cool. But I do like that flexibility, you know, the, the ability to move stuff around and decide what it is you're going to do, uh, I think is pretty cool. Uh, where are we going? Is it up here? Do I, we need to interact? We need to interact. Sound of machinery is getting louder. Help, help me. The anti-dragon. He's a whingy dwarf. Gotta be honest. Behold the power of Spark, revered dwarf king. Wow. Be gone, Ember's rest. Aggressive. Use the spark to make your dreams come true. Not if we can help it, buddy.
This is going to be fun. Leap and then slap. Ooh, we can resurrect somebody. There we go. Do we get anything for that? Ooh, we can talk to him. Can we talk to him? Jean, you did your best. What happened here? The Agatos took over the Bulwark's core, and they broke the teleporter to the core. I'm too weak. I'm no match for them. Jean, get back to the hideout. We'll stop that rampaging cannon. Damn straight. Leap, o leap attack is OP. Uh, right, I think we need to actually destroy the cannon. You guys are even more fearsome than dragons. Of course we are. We are fearsome. Filthy the fearsome. It's got a ring. Level 7. Uh, we will find an appropriate time to click buttons. Uh, pair of boots. Oh, there you go, buddy. Get stomped. I do like the way they fly. The uh, physics of the engine seem quite nice. Keep fighting from victory to victory. We got ourselves a blue weapon there, I think. Wow! <laughs> We've been picking up a lot of stuff. Uh, damage increase we'll take. Uh, uh, 11 energy shield. Ooh, do we swap a little bit of survival for cold dress? I'm presuming so. Uh, some energy shield gloves. And then I think the rest of it... The rest of it we're going to get rid of. That's a two-hander, isn't it? So... Let's just whiz all this stuff in the bin. Go keep yourself nice and tidy. Ooh, we missed the top row. 7% survival. Uh, yeah, and that will do. Destroy that. Ooh, do we want it? We want those? We don't want that. Let's destroy. Cancel. Let's stick those on, baby. Oh no, we went for the cold just Doy. Uh, getting this all wrong. There we go. Right, let's get rid of those. Short term memory fail. Ah, now let's have a real Leap attack challenge. is leveled up. As is Warcry, we've got another talent node. Uh, we will, I think, put a little bit of juice into surviving. Uh, we probably have to max out the nodes, I think, to get to the next connector. We do not, do not want to stand in those big yellow circles. Uh, that thing looks massive and scary, so we're going to take the uh, cultured approach and stay the hell away from it. Looks like we're going to have to fight him. Oh, why well, was I even worried? We're so giga-chad. I can hear deafening 
sustained cannon fire coming from the bulwark's core. Partner, if... I mean, if... If I'm gone, you can... <laughs> the fastest way to travel. Bulwark's core. Let's teleport there. This is fun. Wow, it's hard. I'm not sure you can just stand and face tank everything, uh, which is good. Because even that would be a bit, a bit too easy for a potato like me. Save us by blowing it up. Kaboom. I think she might be dead. Apparently not. Am, am I still alive? Yes, love, and you're glowing. Positively glowing. <sighs> Got some blue stuff. Uh, blue stuff. Boots. We'll take a little bit of extra survival on the gloves. Uh, I like the way, I like the way on you know like the the stuff, like we're using the hard rock mallet with thirteen percent knockback distance. Uh, if you click on the little blue things that underlined, you know, really helpful. Tells you exactly what you can click on. It tells you what it does. Uh, so three percent chance to cause paralysis, which is a three percent chance to do an extra ten percent damage. Uh, and on our current equipped with 9% elemental damage, I think we're attacking with fire, uh, so that's cool. And then a base staff plus 11 intelligence. So, gear initially, uh, you know, very early on. I'm sure there's many more layers to this to go, but uh, quite nice. Just a nice little explanation that you get with everything. My goodness, are, are you all right, partner? I'm, I'm still alive. Is everyone all right? You detonated your flame, Elementium. It will kill you. Oh dear. They're all in the hideout. Does that mean she's gonna die soon? But, but look, I'm still fine and well. Right. I was just kidding when I told you to get a new crow. Pardon she says she's fine. Turn to the hideout and report the situation. She says she's fine, so we roll with it. We go with it. So this is the hideout. This this is as far as I've got so far, uh, and yeah, there's all these different things here with bits and bobs that are greyed out. So I presume, can we use them now? Maybe we can use them now. Different engraving circuits. The infected can channel their very through different engraving circuits. The infected can channel engraving circuits are found in the ruins of ancient civilizations. Theoretically, once we obtain an intact engraving circuit, if you want more skill components, you need to prove your strength. Right. So I think there's quite a few, uh, quite a few bits and bobs to unlock and get in here we're not gonna i'm not gonna sit here and go through all of them because that would be a little overwhelming we'll, we'll let the game take us through it uh we do have a battle pass uh 
So we obviously have to unlock that. Uh, we have daily quests. Uh, till, kill 10 magic monsters. Kill mock bosses. Uh, weekly quests. Ultimate pass login. This will claim all of these. Why the hell not? Uh, rewards. Okay. I mean, obviously the game's completely free, so the battle pass is presumably a monetization way of doing it. Uh, and it looks like we've got a free and paid track at the bottom. Uh, we won't worry too much about that. And we're getting, we're getting goodies left, right, and center. Uh, revival tokens. I'll need them. Let's face it, I'll need them. Right, okay, so all that stuff we were claiming was advancing the battle pass. Uh, right, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, reports to live. Take back the spark, no matter the cost. Uh, am I, am I, are we picking these? Historically, the first flame has always been enshrined on top of the Tower of Supremacy. It serves as a beacon that purges Leptus of darkness and ignorance, and brings light. Ten years ago, an evil god fell upon the Tower of Supremacy, and shattered the first flame. It was then broken into several sparks that scattered around the world. As the first flame extinguished, Amber spread, wreaking havoc upon all life, including us. Finding all sparks and reigniting the first flame is the only hope of this world and the utmost mission of Torchlight. Okay. Back the spark right, I'm guessing. The cost. So, yellow is progress, the campaign, and green is just like extra. So, again, like in Diablo, chatting to the NPCs. We do. How do we get this sword? <laughs> we want it. Rest in peace, comrades. Lit up by the torchlight one day. It, excuse me. You saw it too, right? The dwarf king took the spark. We must go after him. I'm sure he was deceived by the Agitos to do something so outrageous. My dwarven friends, thank you for standing with us. Please, show us the way to the underground kingdom of the dwarves. Heroes. Use your teleporters and take me to the planes behind the anti-dragon bowl. Right. Uh, we've got another reward. So these are support gems. Uh, fire explosion. Steamroll. Uh, freezing chance. Slash Jue. Uh, so again, like a lot of customization. Uh, we're going to go with fire explosion. Because that sounds good. Uh, we've also got some extra skills and stuff. So this is our main skill, and we add points to it. So it looks like quite a deep, potentially very deep skill uh, customization. Install fire explosion on flame slash. A little easy for me to say flame slash. Uh, so extra fire damage, 4% additional ignite damage, chance to trigger elements on hit, dealing fire damage per second for 4 seconds. Uh, so yeah. So we're going to do more fire. More fire, more damage. We like uh, emergency restoration has leveled up as well. Uh, this is still glowing. Uh, path of progression. Uh, ooh, so we've got rewards. So again, I guess this is this is teaching us how to play the game. Activate one major talent node. So that's in the passive tree. Uh, wear magic gear. Revive token. So nice. Lots of, lots of little rewards as we go. Trying to get us to uh, figure out all the systems in the game. I'm guessing. Uh, what are these? Raise life and energy shield. 
Uh, Path of Achievements. Uh, so story, progression, gameplay. Nether Realm. I don't quite know what any of these resources are, but I'll bet we're going to need them. Uh, right, okay. On we go. Enough collecting things. Go to the Dragonbone Ridge via the teleporter. Aye, Captain. Uh, and this is the map, so I think this... Is that where we came? This way? Uh, nice little exclamation point, just in case we didn't know where we were going. But graphically, um, yeah, really nice. We dwarves defeated countless dragons, and their remains formed this wasteland. This land? The painful memories of the dragons still linger here. You are no match for the berserker. Partner, I think I saw Liv. Yeah, there she is. Splat, splat. Uh, right, it's saying go down. I think. Down this way? Looks like it. Yeah, get wrecked, son. Not yet. Wimp. Wimp. <laughs> I like this guy's character. Chat, chat and smack, calling people wimps. See those monsters that are covered in bones? They were born from the bones of dragons, and they're extremely dangerous. Dragon bone enemies. No it, cool. Price, I will protect you forever. Hypocrite, liar. Interesting. Uh, ooh, new talent node. So, uh, can we do this one? What it let us. Max out the prerequisite talent, so no. So we need to do this one up to level three. Uh, and then we can do the next one. So, 8% life. Or attack speed. And a 4% life. 5% life, 10% life. Cast speed, we don't want cast speed. Build up attack speed. That's where we're going. Let's be decisive. These little plant things, get out of here, man. Get squashed. Uh, cool, unique enemy, this. Risen from the bones of dragons. Like a ske dragon skeleton thing. I enjoyed smashing it with my massive hammer. Uh, one of the good things about this game is is there is a solid and firm commitment uh, to, I think, no pay to win. Which is cool. Free to play. Available to everybody. Uh, and I'm really actually pleased with how this PC client's working because Dabble Immortal, obviously I gave that a really good go. I played it quite a lot for the first few weeks that it came out. Uh, but the PC client for that definitely seemed like an afterthought, uh, whereas this has been really smooth. Really, really smooth. Uh, gear, gear, survival, worse, worse, all that stuff. It's all naff, in the bin. Next time. Take good care of yourself first. These little plants, they think I don't see them. Are these monsters formed from the bones of dragons too? Dragon Bone Griffin. <laughs> oh, this chicken shit little dwarf. I mean, to be fair, he doesn't have a big hammer, so you know, if I didn't have one, I think I'd be I'd be getting scared too. Oh, we're nearly dead. We nearly died. 
That would have been embarrassing. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if the Berserker might just be really tanky, because obviously we kind of have to be like right up inside this thing's grid to actually do any damage to it. Uh, so it may well be that the other characters, if you can do damage at range, are tougher, but you get the added benefits of like being over here and being able to attack. No problemo. Uh, upgrade in the skills again. Some more blue stuff. Uh, damage. We go with damage. And you, ooh, no chest plate was there. So what's that? That's going to be an amulet then, isn't it? I think. Uh, Two-handed gigantic stone. 9% uh, bleed damage. 6% area of effect damage. Added gear cold damage. Let's go for it. And then we'll get rid of this. Uh, again, I don't know whether we're supposed to be selling that stuff to a vendor or salvaging it. Uh, who knows? But I don't think the game showed us the uh, crafting or anything like that yet. So we'll we'll carry on. We're getting close to the Dwarven Kingdom. To the Dragonbone Plains. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, a magic enemy. So I think that, I guess that was like an elite, was it? My little buffs up in the top left, I didn't, didn't quite see what they were. Oh my gosh, are we on fire? We're losing health then. Something, something nasty. Nasty did hit us. Oh, is that a magic enemy? An elite, yellow elite. <laughs> Properly stomped on it. <laughs> this is fun. we go. Level 9. If I ever mutate, please let me die a human. No! I will never let you die! So that's the body guy, isn't it? The shadow of Lean. Right, so we're cranking some skills. Uh, we have got ourselves another point. Uh... 15% attack critical strike rating, so I guess that's crit chance, and then some crit damage. Let's go for it. Get those crits. I think we've done fire skills. Do we do fire damage? No. <coughs> I don't think that does fire. So we can jump on stuff, but we're not getting fire bonus. Keep fighting from victory to victory. Keep fighting from victory to victory. Indeed. I will never use the spark to fulfill my own selfish desires. Ember is our only home. Let me prove it to you. It looks like we're getting the bad guy's justification as we uh, rock our way through this. Very fast paced. Uh, enjoyably so. He just jumped over my attack, that was cool. I mean, he mugged me off completely, but it looked cool. Was not prepared for that.
Uh, where are we going? They're getting bigger. The further up this mountain we go, the bigger these things are getting. Let's try and stay behind him. Right, it's going in the ground now. I bet that hurts when that comes up. You know what I want to say. That's what she said. Oh shit. <gasps> We're dead! Uh, eight points of lightning damage. <laughs> In the last second, you suffered 136 points. Okay, so when we die, we start here to the boss room. Wow. His health hasn't reset, so I guess that I guess that's something good. <gasps> Gonna die again! We died twice. This is embarrassing. Come on, Bob, you can do this. Right. <laughs> Maybe let's try and avoid the attacks. Let's do that. New strategy. Right, it's that rock thing, isn't it? He's doing the big rock move in front of me. So let's just not... That's it. That's what killed me. I'm being dozy. Of course you know I'm dozy. We went and stood it again. There we go. Clutch gameplay. Fire explosion... Ready to level again. Yes, this is it. Uh, the entrance may have changed, but the Dwarf King, Golgar, is down there. Yes, this is it. But it looks bottomless. How do we get down? There's a teleportation point in the abandoned mine. Does Torchlight have a way to activate it? Let's head back to Molina. I'm sure someone knowledgeable like her will know what to do. Anyway, let's head back and talk to Melina. That sounds sensible. I have no idea who Melina is, but I'm sure she's going to be very helpful. Uh, Invincible number two manager, Sydney. No. Melina, here we go. Dog kick. That is not a nice name. Right, this is the skill check. Melina, Melina, the Dwarf King has fled toward the mine with the spark. We need permission to use an unknown teleportation point to get into the mine. The teleportation point is in a deep hole on Dragonbone Plains. The Dwarf King and Lean are planning something together. We can't wait a moment longer. If you've made your decision, then go ahead. Partner, let's use the teleporter to get to the mine. Emergency avoidance. Uh, gain a stack of buff when using support skills. The buff lasts four seconds and stacks with four times 40% evasion max stacks. Or we can have 20% uh, increased attack speed and cooldown recovery. So faster cooldown and attack speed. Or, uh, which was that one, or we're going to pick for dodge. What do you think? Dodge. Dodge or cooldown? I think we do cooldown. I think we do cooldown. Uh, I think we equip that. No, I don't think we want to talk to her, do we? Uh, skill slot is vacant. Uh, hero ranking? Okay, don't know why that's flashing. Uh, right, so how do we use the merits? We got a merit. How do we use the? How do we use that thing that we just unlocked? The skill buffer thingy. Uh, skills. Man, we might not have unlocked it yet. So we might have to. Can we swap? We click change. Increased area hardened. Oh, I don't know where that thing has gone. We've unlocked something and I can't find it. 
Never mind. Worry not. Skill slot vacant. Insufficient energy. Ah, we need more energy to equip it. Right, okay. How do we get energy? Uh, energy per level up. Stage drop. Okay, right. So we just need to be level 15. So that is cool. At least we know what we're doing now. Uh, the Lost Mine. Let's do it. That is not nice. Let's go kick some ass. The phrase, pick on somebody your own size, springs to mind. So we're fighting dwarves and the bone things now? Is that like a goblin? They're like a goblin. Trader. What have you got, bro? Right, okay, so you get interrupted if, you, if you're chatting to somebody and someone comes and smacks you. A wanderer who happens to pass through here. Okay, I don't know what any of that stuff is. The name's Edwin. Ooh, can we exchange? Who happens to pass through here. Flame residue can be exchanged for flame dust. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's go through the stuff and see whether we need, want any of this. Don't think. No, 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 no. Uh, 40 evasion. 15% projectile speed. That would be useful for projectiles, <laughs> which we're not using. Uh, plus three to all stats. That sounds good. On it goes. Uh, oh, right, so I was about to hit destroy, but we're going to sell all this stuff, aren't we? Cancel. So let's see, what can we trade with this guy? Edwin, a wanderer who happens to pass through here. So, ah, redeem all, and then we just hit confirm. And we've got a whole bunch of this red stuff. <laughs> red? I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, trade, what if we do trader? A wanderer who happens to pass through here. Flame dust. Right, okay, so you get a hundred of these, you can swap it for a flame dust, consumed when crafting gear with zero or one affix, so part of the crafting system, uh, which I'm guessing the game will tell us how to use a little later. Uh, I'm right, we were actually going this way. See you later, Edwin. A pleasure doing business with you. Whoa! Oh, get stomped on. Oh, brother. What are you planning? Ooh, that hurts. That was hurty. So I think we want to stay away from those. Hero reaches level 10. Thanks for rescuing me. You're almost as brave as I am. Almost. Almost as brave as him. Uh, Hanpy. I'm the renowned adventurer and witness to the rise and fall of civilizations. Okay. Uh, talent node available. Uh, attack speed. Tell you what, we died. So let's do a little bit more into toughness. Oh my god. Right, that, <laughs> that was what hurt. So you tread on the mine as they go off. Okay, good to know. I was merely adventuring here, yet they attacked oh. an intruder. How rude. Well, I mean, of course. Why would anyone attack a homeless little robot like me? If they're going to capture someone, they should capture someone strong like you. Environmental effects coming in. Fun. Uh, right, so where are we going up here? A little robot. You don't look like Dwarven Tech. Mm, he looks pretty good. Why are you moving away? Come here, so I can study you. 
This whole place is rigged. Rigged to blow. Mossy stone hammer. Tell you what, I'm glad we've got leap. Get out of the way of all these bombs. King Magnus fled back toward the surface with the spark. The tunnels behind him darkened without the spark, but the darkness ahead was illuminated. Thing that was a little collectible. Light, and they left the underground kingdom of King Magnus. They are the ancestor of the dwarves on the surface. Absolutely murdering these dwarves. Scribes head scarf. I don't know if we should be picking this stuff up. Do we pick it up? We'll go with it. Ah. Uh, it's a fun, it's quite, quite complex, it's quite difficult to avoid all the bombs, all the incoming attacks. Uh, so definitely, definitely a little bit of skill to it, which is good. I'm sure you guys would be much better than me. So the dwarves appear to be pissed off. I don't really know why. Maybe we should have paid a bit more attention. <laughs> Just leg it through. Whoa! Look at that! Can we take his hammer? I want that hammer. Right. That is going to hurt. That is definitely going to hurt if he hits us. Ooh, and bombs as well. So we gotta be gutsy to play the berserker, the barb, the melee giga chad. You stand in this stuff, get clobbered. Just jump around, maybe he won't hit us. Oh, take that. But Hanpy is going in the other direction now. Hanpy. See you later, bro. Goodbye, my warrior. Uh, so we're obviously finding quite a lot of gear, which is fun. Uh, it's nice to find pieces and look through them. Not getting like a massive amount of upgrades uh, every so often, which again is it's like a kind of nice balance to find, isn't it? Uh, holy moly! Uh, oh, okay, right. We can dual wield. I was wondering about that. Right, we're going to dual wield now. Uh, 42 evasion, AOE damage, fire resistance. Well, we can get rid of the projectile speed. It's like there's no use to us at all. Uh, so I guess we just destroy everything. Uh, a destroy everything button could be handy. Cannot be reversed. This is fine. Uh, right, where are we going? This way, I sincerely hope. Oh, this is King's course. There are no shortcuts left from here. No dwarves. We've reached the level eleven. Those who wish to travel. Bulls rage. New skill. That sounds fun. Uh, yes. Lots of traps. Uh, new talent node available. Uh, which was the life regen? So do we need to max up the next one? Right. 
to get a bit of life reach. I always like life reach in ARPGs because you can run away and heal up. Uh, large talents node not selected. We've got one more. Uh, oblivion points. No. Ah, right, okay. This is flashing. Elimination. Eliminate enemies under 18% life on hit. So that's cool. That's like a uh, curse on Diablo 3 for the Necromancer. Burnout. 30% extra fire damage. Grant 25% fire resistance to enemies suffering severe injury for one second. So you get more fire damage. Uh... Okay, 15% chance to gain one stack of Tenacity Blessing on attack hit, plus one maximum Tenacity Blessing stack. So we get one stack max, what does it do? Every stack of this grants additional 4% damage reduction, four stacks. Uh, ooh, damage reduction. Auto kill 18%. I mean, if that applies to like bosses and tough enemies, I think that's got to be the way to go, hasn't it? Doesn't say there's any restriction on it, so we'll go for it. Okay, cool, so that's nice. We get another one of these at 20 on this talent tree. Uh, so I'm liking this. This is, this is you know, there's, there's going to be lots of different ways to go through that. That looks pretty cool. Ooh, Good drink. Of course you are. And uh, it looks like we might have to talk to Jerry about something. But we've got... Monsters to smash to so clear out this room, and then I've noticed we've actually got another skill as well. Uh, another skill slot. <laughs> Never felt better. Stupid dwarves. Uh, right, fire explosion. This is ready to level up. Okay. Uh, we get to add we get to add a skill, don't we? So let's do this. Uh, right, did I see something to do with bulls? Bulls rage, what's this? Mana cost 30%. Uh, while the skill is active, increase melee, melee skill attack speed and skill radius. The skill costs life instead of mana. 27% melee skill damage whilst the skill is active. Or skill that active plus 20% area damage or area of effect. Uh, it lasts four seconds. So we pop this and then we basically use our own life to do more damage. That's kind of interesting. Uh, should we go? Let's go for it. Whatever it sounds. It sounds interesting. So let's install that there. On a 10 second cooldown. Uh, so it uses 30% of our mana, gives us 100% damage mod. Uh, oh, if we hold alt, it does more information. Okay, cool. I do like the explanations. They are good. All right, Jerry, what's going on, my man? Don't hit me. Well, you don't hit me, Jerry. I won't hit you. It's, it's simple. We'll leave you alone if you don't attack us. You're not the patrol team from the heart of Kazan. The patrol team? I've been living in my kingdom for decades, and I've never heard of it. <gasps> They take away all dwarves who don't mind as they're told. Did you go above the ground to run errands or something? They've been pushing us around here for more than half a year. Running errands above ground? <laughs> sort of. I'm Sir Cory Magnavik Durzen. You may have heard of me. <laughs> You're the traitor Cory who colluded with the humans. Oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, honey. I found Cory. I found Cory. Are we not going to stop him? <laughs> I never expected you to be so infamous in your kingdom. So it turns out the dwarf dude is a bit of a big deal. Hunting. Right, we need to, we need to have a little practice test of this bull's testicle move. You over there, please. Wait a minute. Thank the Holy Spirit. Finally. More damage. More damage. Nice. I reckon you could get some uh, some pretty cool combos going once you've got all the skills leveled up and stuff. Uh, 
to t talk to that guy. Captain of Knight of Commandments. Yes, I'm a proud knight of the church. Nice. The capital is hundreds of miles away from here. So what are you doing here? I traveled alone to the Dwarven Kingdom, my orders from the benevolent Archbishop Derek to complete a task, he asked of me. But I soon realized that the dwarves here are absolutely irrational, so I plan to leave. But... I got lost. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Someone with no sense of direction was sent to the underground kingdom? Your archbishop may not be very good at judging people. It's that way. Just go along the direction we came, then turn that way. Then take another turn that way, and you'll get outside. Oh, thank you. May the light protect you. Sound like a Templar? Partner, doesn't it look like there's something off about the path he's taking? Forget it. We don't have time for that. We must get the spark back. Right. Uh, energy? Ah, uh, okay. Did we use energy for this bits? Or maybe you have to put the energy into these skills to get those little side skill things. We'll see. Whoa! The hell was that? Somebody poking a massive fist through. No robot can stop us. And that is cool. It's like uh, <laughs> something from The Incredibles. I feel like I'm I'm just about to die at any point. I'm just going to charge myself into a bunch of stuff that's just going to completely wreck me. I'm going to look like a total noob again. Take that, demon. Uh, up. It says up. Dwarven automation. Right, let's pop the bull thing. Slap it. I think that did more damage. I don't know. Splat, splat, splat. Oh, <laughs> did we buy this skill when we got it? Did that just give us the skill? We've already picked it. We've got a Meris as well. Path of progression. Hero reaches level 10. Oh yeah. Uh, we've activated a major talent node. Uh, oh no, it was this way. It was that way. We're here. The capital of the Dwarven Kingdom. The heart of Kassan. Heart of Kassan. The first king of the Dwarven Kingdom. He... Oh! Ow! Ow! Stop showing off! Watch out for the automatons! Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start trashing up the first dwarven kingdom. That's what we're gonna do. Whoa! From victory to victory. Nearly dead. We definitely need some life regen. Is a lot of fun stomping on stuff. I'd say I'd say so far, like what an hour, hour and twenty minutes. This is definitely worth definitely worth a download. It's the rumbling of machinery. It's unlike anything we heard before. It's really rumbling. Uh, right. Any upgrades? 
It's like the ground. By the boots. Uh, one handed. More damage. More damage. More damage is good. Uh, ooh, the saber. We'll use the saber. And then I think the rest of that stuff was out. We could take a shield. I'm sure that would stop us from being squishy, but we're going to YOLO it with the dual wield. Because damage is fun. Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't stand in the explosions. Nice. Uh, but yeah, kind of cool. Got to got to avoid these dodges. Got to avoid the attacks from the enemies. What is that? <laughs> Never felt better. Yeah, I mean, how many how many enemies have we killed in like an hour? Plenty, uh, which is fun. It's good fun killing stuff. Another plus icon for something to do. Which we'll have a look at once we've cleared out some more dudes. That hurt. I love this guy's smack talking. Wimp. Giant robot. Executioner for the Dwarf King. I think we're going to have to take this guy out. Again, hits pretty damn hard. I'm very, very grateful for a uh, potion on an 8 second cooldown. Very grateful. Uh, right. Oh, Bull's Rage has leveled up. We picked up some more stuff. Uh, oh, very happy to see this. Survival, 8.7%. Uh, minion max life. Not doesn't do anything for his physical damage, I don't think does anything. But we'll take it. I wonder how often we're going to come across merchants to like salvage stuff. Just seen that one dude so far. Here it is. The giant spark crystal. Uh oh. Dwarf King, let's rumble. Let's go. Yeah, oh, he's got bombs. He's definitely got bombs. Ho oh, ho. Yeah, I've seen that move before. Oh shit, shit. What was that? No! Ah! Oh, I knew that was going to happen. That's <laughs> two bosses we've died to so far. Rice, Dwarf King, we're going to kick your ass this time. And we need to stop leaping because I can't see where the bombs are landing. Where are they going? Where are they going? Okay, we got. Oh shit! Shit! Wow. And a big splat from the hand. Yeah, maybe we should have gone for a ranged character. Oh, 
bomb time. Dodge, 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 duck, dive, dodge, and what was it from dodgeball? You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge anything. Uh, oh my god, I think we just about avoided those. What the? Oh, this is not fair. Oh shit. So we've got to avoid this dude's bombs. He's smacking us with a massive hammer. And we've got uh, what looks to be Thanos from the Avengers trying to like smash us with his infinity gauntlet. Oh god. Right, okay, so they come in like that. Okay, getting the hang of this now. He says. Hopefully. Uh, oh, shoo. Now, we definitely couldn't just stand here and face tank this. No, no, no. When you get close to that guy, that red stuff on the floor does a lot of damage. Oh yes, was that it? That room must be the key. We slapped him silly. Let's go. The spark awaits. A lot of these actors did not miss glute day at the gym. That's all I'm saying. The spark is back finally. Don't back to tell them. Oh, this guy's necked it again. Level 12. So we got Emberized apparently. So I don't know what that does. Doesn't sound good. Uh, oh, and we're dual wielding for extra, extra deeps. So I guess that kind of purple glowing stuff is the Emberized. So I presume that runs out. Talent node available. Uh, oh yes. <laughs> Life regen please. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Uh, can we do this now? Well, 10 out of 15 energy. No, we still don't have enough. So, right, max energy's going up, but we're not actually getting energy. Uh, act sealed mana? Activate all? Can we get another? <gasps> Flame imbue. Sealed mana 25%, damage multiple 24%. So, I presume, is this like a cap on mana? Under this imbue, attacks and spells gain additional fire damage with a chance to ignite enemies. Defeating an ignited enemy generates fire terror that deals the damage over time at the enemy's location. Deals four per second fire. So four damage per second fire with persistent damage. When defeating an ignited enemy, generates fire terror. Fire terror cooldown two seconds. Three to five damage added to attacks. Three to five added to spells. Spells don't need that. 16.5% uh, chance to ignite targets. Add, far, add 10 base ignite damage. Pool lasts 2.5 seconds. So I guess if we do this, does it cut our mana off? Right, okay, so we've got these extra, like, these must be like built, not skills, but like passive type skills. Can we add anything? No. Oh, we can add one to leap attack. Quick mobility. Uh, supported skills of 20% attack speed and cast speed. Uh, and 5% cooldown. Let us do it. Let's go for it. Uh, and we've unlocked some more merits from fiddling about with the skills and talents. Uh, so that is done. Uh, right, let's talk to Curry. Please give up your ambition. Wait, brother. Why is your body collapsing? I accepted Lean's deal so that I would be able to control this doomsday automaton. My body became a part of it a long time ago. Why? Why did you do that? Why? That's a very good question. Why did I? I think at first, 
I just wanted to take my people back to the old days. The days of glory, when we possessed the spark. The Dwarf King's voice gradually fades with his body. We should continue forward, partner. We must catch up to Lean. I'm not coming with you. I need some time alone. Take care. That was no easy battle. You don't look very well. No, I've been ambertized. Whatever that is. Well, the cowardly dwarf is gone, so we are free to uh, kick some ass without him. You don't look well, partner. Do you want to rest? Uh, can I go back to town and clean this off? Can we get rid of this negative ailment stuff? That guy looks cool. Dual pistols. Shells on his cape. Definitely, I think my next character I'm going to try. Oh no, <laughs> we've just gone back back through. I thought she was saying, do you want to rest? And then we click this button and then we go get healed. Apparently not. Uh, what is that? Oof. Yeah, so look, there's the mana cap for the extra damage. So again, that's cool. You know, you get you get to build your character in a certain way. If you want less mana but more damage, you can do it. Flexibility is always a good thing. Don't worry, we're Giga Chat. We'll, we'll just have a protein shake or something afterwards. It'll be fine. Protein shake, good night's sleep, maybe a banana. <laughs> never felt better. Exactly, there we go, never felt better. You tell her. Okay, we might need that protein shake now, guys. Is she going to stab me? Is she going to stab herself? Uh oh. I'm sure this is a good thing. Oh dear. Imagine ripping one of those earrings off. All the calamity and pain you have. That would hurt. Okay. We're fixed. We're healed. Thank you. Appreciate it. On we track. On we track. Splat, 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 splat. I don't know why. I'm just a child. Another boss. You know what this means, guys. We're gonna die. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. Let's just get in there. Get a few hits in. I'm guessing that's going to hurt. Let's just leather him whilst that thing is flying around. Yep, okay. <laughs> that didn't work too well. Uh, yep, hurts. Can we jump over it? No, we cannot jump over it. Right, we'll try and not die this time. Oh, good God, that was close. Did we level up? Did that save me? I definitely pressed potion, but I think um, I think that saved me. So we've unlocked Pact, Pact Node. Another system. Uh, plus 5% elemental. 
resistance. Uh, okay, so we've got another tree here. Elemental resistance. Uh, mana regen. Uh, and I guess at some point we get some bigger nodes. Click it overview. One pack node. A lot of systems. So, you know, plenty to, again, put into your character, which sounds pretty good. Uh, ooh, we had another one. Do we have another one? Pack points. So, can we just start on that side as well? No. So, we started here. I think we have to start here. All right, so if we go round in the circle like this. Uh, I wonder if we can... Maybe you have to do the inner circle first, and then you get to the outer circle. So can I choose any of these? 15% mana or elemental resist. I have no idea what, how important uh, elemental resist is. 2% damage reduction from physical. Can we just go here? Yeah, apparently we can. Okay, so that is that done. And a talent node as well. Passive point. Uh, and that is... Ah, right, okay, that's maxed out. That was another one-time deal, that one. Uh, fire damage. Attack speed. Critical strike chance. Uh, projectile speed, we don't want that. Skill at area, 20%. And more crit chance on that one. 12% armor. Let's go for it. I'm feeling a little squishy. Now let's have a real vulgar challenge. You're really strong. Wow, Liz has really fostered a group of madmen. Madmen. Have you seen an Agico in black? We must find him and take the spark back. That guy fled toward Manila. Your leader, Liv, has led a large group there, and she even borrowed my best vessel. Luckily, I have a second best vessel. Do you want to go there and help Liv? I can send you over. Yes, please. I'll wait at the port over there. Come see me once you're ready. Right. Uh, acuteness imbue. So under this imbue, attacks spells gain additional physical damage with a chance to bleed. I think we're doing fire, so I don't think we want that one. Flame imbue. I mean, we are using the leap attack a lot, uh, but I think we'll go for we'll go for the fire. We'll we'll stick with the fire build. Uh, so where does it go? We still are we still not gaining any energy here. Uh, plus sixteen. I haven't quite worked this out yet. So if we take if we take that out, do we get to no? I haven't quite cracked this one. Does it go somewhere else? Ah, Flame of you, here it is. Right. Activate all. Ah, okay. So we had in here the uh, mana cut off thing, didn't we? But we swapped it for the fire. That's okay. Okie dokie. This battle's over. I'm saying that the mana still seems off. Let's not worry about it. Let's press on. Press on. Uh, ooh, jungle biome. Insects. So this is this a stand-up fight, sir? Or another bug hunt? You know the movie. I know you know the movie. <laughs> I'm like trying to whack our own guys in the face. That, th that thing just ate her. Scorpion. Uh-uh. They look like... Uh, from Starship Troopers, the Arachnids. Got to rendezvous with Liv very quickly. That's what they're saying, but it is just fun to smash this stuff. Red Crystal Amulet. We've got an amulet. 
Let's check it out. What does it do? 20 strength. Fire resistance. On it pops. So no belt yet. And no, uh, no rings. Don't think any of this other stuff is better. So... Uh, And maybe this is the way to do it, to just uh, bin it all off. And if it turns out to be better when we look at it, we can cancel the binning. Uh, raise life and energy shield. Another merit done. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll work out what this, what this stuff is for later. Whoa. We're not using the bull much. No, we just used it then. Slap that guy. Uh, dying Hunter. Can we do anything with him? No. What a hero. Go help him out. Don't worry, filthy here, buddy. Perfect timing. Of course. Even if I get killed in battle, the swarm will not go any further. Things are not looking good. Many of us are incapacitated by venomous pests. Melog went out to find the antidote, but hasn't returned yet. Though I'm worried about her safety, I can't just leave the wounded here unguarded. Please, only you can help us. Find my crow partner, Melog. With the antidote or not, I just hope she's still alive. Don't worry. I will do my best to hold this place until you return. <gasps> We've got a ring. Uh, max life and fire res on the abyssal ring. Max life and cold res on the corrupted ring. <laughs> Max life and lightning res on the vicious ring. Uh, I can't really say whether we've been taking more damage from any of these things. We'll go with fire. We'll go with fire. I mean poison, maybe. It's glowing. Can we attack that? Do we want to go in there? Ooh, no. But a poisonous plant is dangerous. Dangerous here. That looks big. Yeah, we like this. We're gonna stomp on you, slap you. Rock kite shield. Oh, nice. I'm definitely, definitely an ARPG junkie. I just have to pick everything up. This looks like the chick. Come on, let's go, let's go. Oh my god. Fatso, take that. I'm nearly dead again. Whoa, that is a lot of... A lot of... Little worm things. <sighs> we survived. Just. Uh, go across the jungle and chase the spark? Or do we need to go back to this dude? Then we need to go back to this dude. Side story, Lost Crow. Right, that was a little side quest. Okay, cool. Oh dear. I will destroy all of you. Rest in peace, Flynn. I didn't know you that long, but you seem like a sound guy. Damn. Partner, you felt it 
too, right? There we go, nice little life regens. Yes, don't worry, Arya. We'd, we'd be very sad. Seem to have changed. We'd be super sad if you died. Ground is shaking. Something uh, is giant worm thing. Let's see, how's this guy going to completely wreck my face? <laughs> I wish we'd picked the guy with the pistols. I reckon this would all be so much easier with range damage. Never mind. This guy keeps spitting out loads of disgusting little things. Oh, poison res. <laughs> we need poison resistance. Alright, let's pop the bull. Take that. There you go. Bull power. Ooh, a purple item. Let's see what purple does. Ooh. Purple. Unidentified. 6% elemental damage. Nice. We're doing fire, so that's good. Minus 3% extra physical damage taken. Sounds good. 4% critical, uh, critical strike. We we go for it. Uh, oh, apparently we didn't equip this ring that we got. Whoops. That would have been helpful. Right, so let's spin everything. Oh, not that one. Uh, what was that? 2% survival. And lightning res. Alright, some of these weapons look decent. Oh, we're not we're not taking the purple item off. Absolutely no way, no way. Uh, one-handed axe. Uh, one-handed axe. We'll go for that one. Uh, and we'll go for that one. Go for the double mace, double mace combo, double hammer. Uh, and we. I've upgraded like every single skill possible. Uh, more merits. Raise total elemental resistance to 50%. Nice. I've got one of these as well. Progression. Equip a hero with rare gifts. That must be rare. Purple is rare. Nice. Uh, right. Interacting. Oh, that guy's co absolutely covered in goop. Was it a gal? It was a gal. I think. <laughs> no, it was a guy. It's the haircut. Brody. Uh, okay, right. Small injury like that is nothing to a strong hunter like me. But the situation ahead isn't looking good. Liv's condition is deteriorating rapidly because of the ember, I'm afraid. Rest assured, we'll find Liv before it's too late. I may be strong, but I need some rest. You're her only hope now. We will reclaim the spark. Everything will be fine. Stop standing there and get to Liv. I love her positivity. Riverside. Pest carcasses everywhere. Yep, looks pretty grim. Is that all you've got? <laughs> oh. Ooh, we want that move. She looks gassed. Scratch. Rest assured, I won't go down before we retake the spark. But the ember within you has spread. If this is allowed to continue, it won't be long. Arya, don't be silly. I won't let myself become like that. Besides, Lean and I still have a score to settle. Right, we chase him. Chase him into the jungle. Never 
felt better. Jump on this guy's head. Kill his minion. Onwards and upwards we go. Level 14, let's go. And some more blue gear. Uh, ooh, a new talent node. We can't do that right now. Because we're dealing with a bug infestation. Cockroaches and flies everywhere. Ending. Are they spawning from something? Right, talent node. Uh, what have we got? Ten percent ignite damage, four percent ignite chance. Uh, cast speed new. Attack speed. Uh, let's just go with that. Because we were going down to there, I think. That's where we wanted to be. On. Uh, ooh. Tree monsters, tree monster things, and this is our this is our uh, lib stuff. I was thinking earlier, I'm gonna get, gonna get clobbered for standing in this, but no. Up here. Whoa. Another boss. That is gonna I bet that hurts. The stink bomb. Come on, Liv. Do your special power for us. Uh, will we die? We normally die. Let's try not to. So can we can we not run out of here? No. It's like a cage match. Ooh, more purple stuff. Well that's good news. The mountaineers foot guards. He couldn't bear to see me tortured by Amber. He uh, could truly save me from it. Gear armor. And what would that be? Because Max life. Ridiculous. We'll go for it. So I will never forget Lean. Right, out this way. Even though he was once my crow. You can really crunch through a lot of enemies in one go. Uh, which is nice. Looks like you're not going to make it. Oh, here we go. Deal with a betrayer. The big showdown. It won't work out the way you want it to. <laughs> Hunter, take care of Arya for me. Can we not join in? I feel like we should be joining in this fight. Everything I have done was for. Shut up, traitor! 
Forget it. No one may disturb us anymore. Oh man, so we can't get across. <sighs> Verdant land. Activate the altars. Okay, so we need to do that to get across. Plot, as they say, thickens. We'll find out. Find out why they don't like each other anymore. <laughs> Never felt better. Right. Uh, quick mobility, fire explosion, emergency restoration. All level up. I think we have to kill the stuff first. Keep fighting from I have to kill all the monsters. Right, one of three done. That altar seems to be the key to raising the bridge. The bridge needs to be lifted higher. Will we get there in time? Big question. Here it is. I think we should also check it out. God, these things are hard to kill. We've been poisoned to death. There we go. One. Oh, sugar. Nearly dead again. I can see where this story's going. I think she's going to be snuffers. There's only one last lever left. Is she going to be snuffers and we're going to have to avenge her death? Ooh, what are these dudes? Demon spear people. I like the uh, bar at the bottom as well, it gives you your XP percentage. Uh, like, a little thing, but I mean, that's, you know, I would love that in Diablo 2 or Diablo 3. And right, we've just, as we said that, leveled up. Uh, right. So I think the way this game's being described is high octane, I mean, 100%. You know, a couple hours into the game, and we've been smashing a lot of stuff. I said earlier, how many how many mobs, how many monsters have we killed in the first couple of hours? Which is good. So the game makes you feel like a bit of a badass to start off with. Clear out the dudes, I think, before activating it. Oh, yes, get smacked. Moment of truth across the bridge we go. I reckon I could have jumped that. It's like like playing Leap Quake on steroids. Damn! We have to get to the other 
Ah, right, we were, <laughs> we were out of mana. This is a big showdown. You betrayed your oath and fell too far. I will never forgive you. Oh, slap. Uh, okay. I thought she was our friend. She got that uh, purple stuff that we were suffering from. Oh no, we've, we've pressed the bull thing just as she disappeared. That was unfortunate. Okay, if we kill the demons, then she doesn't get controlled. Whoa! Something just nearly one shot us. We're definitely going to take a death here again. I can just feel it. Come on, filthy, be positive. Where's she gone? I think leap is my favourite skill in this game by a mile. Saved my bacon so many times. Stay away from that. Looks like she's about to explode. Is it just jumping on those things is causing pain? Like it seems like even if I just jump on them, the health goes down. Never mind, we're potioned up again. Stay away from that purple explosion. I presume we don't get a choice in this. Yeah, I swear, just jumping on these things seems to lose health. See? So Plague Bear hit you for 25. My body. You I don't know. Maybe we weren't supposed to jump on them. Let's just try and hit them normally. Too late. You shouldn't be soft on your enemy. Too late. You shouldn't be soft on your enemy. Ah! She's mutated. Phase two. Yep, we should have killed them when we had the chance. Oh my god. Let's ah, follow me, it's follow me. <laughs> this is hard. Stay away from the spinny things. Helicopter blades of death. Uh, we've got her chipping in with like massive explosions. Following you around the map. We really should have picked the dude with the pistols. We seem to just be tickling. <laughs> 
Okay, right. <laughs> Don't get hit by that again. My God. She does so much damage. And it feels like we're hitting it with pebbles. Are we even damaging it? Is our health even going down? I don't think our health's moved for like a minute. Oh yeah, it just did that. Ouch. Run! Right, can we get her now that she's landed? I don't know, maybe, maybe it's... Maybe we only attack her from behind. Presume that one shots you if it hits you. Oh no. Shit, shit, shit. I think the, <laughs> the bull power that means we do more damage but take more, I think is very optimistic. Almost nowhere we can stand without taking damage. She's nearly dead. Can we should we attack this? I don't know whether we're supposed to be attacking this stuff that's coming from the side or trying to kill the main thing. This is epic. Was hard. Secure the spark. No matter what it costs. I will clear a path. Go for it, Liv. She'll shake it off. Just a flesh wound. I will protect Torchlight with my life. With my final flash of light. Arya. Our future is up to you. Goodbye, my child. Well, that could have gone better.
Ooh, legendary. Well, we've got some gear. Let's check out this legendary, and then that will we'll call that a, a day for our two-hour playthrough. Ooh, what do we get? Legendary boots. Maximum energy. Wow, look at the stats on this. Fire res, lightning res, cold res, tri res. Uh, move speed, always helpful. Uh, movement speed. When energy shield is not full, so you take a whack, you get a bit more move speed. Uh, she still keeps these old dancing shoes when she was promised to be invited to the dance after everything is settled. Cool. Well, thank you again, Torchlight Infinite, for sponsoring. That was an awful lot of fun. Uh, two hours blasting that through. We're going to play a little bit more. Uh, I've got some more sponsored content on the way for this game. Uh, so, yeah, check it out. Download it completely for free. Links in the description. All that good stuff. Uh, take it easy, guys. Peace.